Hey guys, NCWQ here, and if you can see in front of me, I have an article from Orlando Sentinel, and it says, Alert level increased for the world's largest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, and this was put out today, July 2nd, 2019. We're going to go over here, and this is Mauna Loa, and uh, we're going to go into what the article says, so we're going to go to the island. And this is Hawaii's Mauna Loa here. And Mauna Loa is a volcano. And it says, federal officials raised the alert level Tuesday for the world's largest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, which last erupted in 1984. The U.S. Geological Survey changed the level from normal to advisory following a steadily increase of earthquakes and ground swelling that began in March. An eruption is not imminent, but scientists are closely monitoring Mauna Loa because of its eruption, because of its reputation for evolving very quickly and sending lava far and wide, USGS research geophysicist Ingrid Johansson told the Associated Press in a phone interview last month, lava can go from the rift down to the ocean on the west side of Mauna Loa on the order of a couple of hours, Johansson said. The rate of the eruption is just really fast. Mauna Loa has erupted 33 times since 1843. Its lava flows have stretched to the south and west coast eight times and near Hilo on the east side seven times. During its last eruption, lava flows came within 4.5 miles of Hilo, the Big Island's largest city. The alert level on Mauna Loa was last raised to advisory in 2015. A similar period of increasing activity occurred around 2004, but the USGS Volcano Alert System has not yet in place at that time, was not yet in place at that time. Advisory is the second of four alert levels and means scientists have detected elevated activity or unrest. The next level, watch, means there is heightened activity with more potential for eruption or that an eruption is ongoing but poses little threat. The highest level warning means a dangerous eruption is imminent or underway. An alert level change is not something the USGS does lightly, said Janet Bob, an agency geologist and spokeswoman. It must balance the need to keep people informed and the risk of causing panic. A lot of discussion goes into it because it has ramifications, Bob said. Mauna Loa currently is experiencing 50 to 75 earthquakes a week, a steady increase since March, when there was a pronounced change and the bulging of the ground known as deformation indicates magma is entering the volcano's plumbing system. Yet gas emissions have been low and steady in recent months, and that tells us there isn't magma rising to very shallow depths, Johansson said. And scientists would expect to see 50 to several hundred earthquakes per day, not per week, ahead of an eruption, USGS volcanologist and geologist Frank Trisdell said. It's above black background, but it isn't the amount of earthquakes we would expect to see prior to an eruption, Trisdell said. Increased ground swelling is also happening on neighboring Kilauea volcano, Jay Hansen said. Scientists are observing some of the highest rates of deformation ever recorded outside an eruptive period there. More than 700 Big Island homes were destroyed and thousands of people were displaced when Kilauea began spewing lava in residential neighborhoods last year. Anyways, you guys, this was just a little update. Let's see if we have any view here. Might be cool. Let me hit our little stick figure guy. And we do, we have some right up to the top. So let's go here. This would be fun. Let's go there. Hmm. So we are in a field here. So we'll try a different one. Let's see if we can get something closer. Okay. And there's one over here, so we'll go over here too.
Wow. I think this is cool. All right, you guys. Hope y'all are having a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. God bless.